hi guys you're yeah, welcome back to my channel today we'll be learning how to make this lovely um, sleeve it's a variation of an off shoulder sleeve meaning that you should know how to draft an off shoulder sleeve before you can attempt this so if you don't know how to do that i'll be dropping the link to my previous tutorial on how to draft an off shoulder sleeve so let's get started now this is my off shoulder sleeve pattern Okay, so like I said, I'll be dropping the link in the description box. Now, I'll be dividing this into four segments. This is my off-shoulder sleeve pattern. Now, the original design, um, it's a long sleeve, but um, I'm making this to be a three-quarter sleeve. So now, I will divide it into four segments, okay? Now, the parts where you have the balloon should be you know, longer than the other segments. So um, the first length is five. This is about three and a half, and then the last marking is about four inch there about. So I'm dividing the sleeve into four parts or segments, like I said. Yeah. So after I've done that, I will now take my scissors and um, divide it. But you should label the parts so that by the time we we'll separate them, you won't get confused. So I'm just gonna cut out with my scissors. Okay, and then next I'm going to transfer them to my fabric. But before we do that, we need to do some extensions or some expansion on the first and the third segments. Okay, that's adding fullness to it. Okay, so the first one and the third one, like I said. Yeah, so I'll be getting my pattern paper now to do that. Though I could do this directly on fabric, but you know it's a tutorial. I need to break it down for us to understand. Now I've folded another pattern paper, which is as in tip my fabric. Okay, so this is um, um the first part. This is the folded edge here. Now I'm going to take my first piece and place it on the on the um pattern paper. Then you pin it together. After pinning, I'm going to trim off that excess around the armhole so that after sewing, it can fit into the armhole. Okay. So, I'm just going to trim off. So, after all, everything I'm going to be doing, this will still fit into the armhole, right? Yeah. The next thing, the fullness we want to add to it now, I'm going to be um, adding like times three of what is on the original pattern. Okay? So, on the original pattern there, I have about, um, I think, six inch. Yeah, let's measure it together. So, this is about six inch. I will either double it or triple it depending on the amount of fullness that you want okay but for this tutorial i'm going to triple it so six times three is 18. don't forget the paper is on fold okay so but you can do times two you can do times two and a half but don't do less than times two anyway so i'll be doing 18 so that's times three okay and then i'm going to cut out like that so i'm done with the first part so this is my first part then of course the second part of my off shoulder sleeve there is no fullness so after we're done we'll just gather it like this on two pleats but that'll be later now this is my second part of the sleeve i number like i said we should number it okay yeah, so this is the second part here then we're also going to be adding fullness to the third part yeah Meanwhile, the fullness on the third pass, it's not as much as the set on the first one, okay? So, we did times three for the first part. For this one, it's either I'll do times two or times two and a half, but it's not as full as um, the first part, okay? So, it's the same process. I'll place it on the pattern paper, trace out the, um, okay, there's no armhole for this, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's no armhole here, so um, I'll just trace out. Make sure the paper is on fold. So this is like five inch times two will give me ten or times two and a half will give me twelve point five yeah so but definitely it's not the same fullness of the first one okay so I'll just cut out make sure it's on fold please very importantly so I'll just cut out like so with my scissors yeah so this is the third layer the second one and the first one and of course the last layer there's no fullness i'll just bring it up so i'm going to transfer all of this to my fabric now for the first layer okay i will be adding seam allowance round to everything 
okay half inch seam around but the first and the third layer i'll be adding like extra four four inches apart from the seam allowance to give the balloon this bouncy effect or else it will not puff out well now look at the first layer can you see what i'm saying you can see that aside um, the length itself i first of all added two inches to the top part to create casing for my elastic at the top part then the lower part i went down by about um extra four inches okay so that after creating the balloon it's going to puff out then um extra half inch at the lower part for the same allowance okay yeah so this is about five and i add an extra like four inches or thereabouts yeah then plus my seam allowance or you could add more if you want it to really puff very well okay then the second layer i added, added half inch on both sides and then one inch for the side seam allowance the third layer so you need to add extra two or three inches to the original length you know to have that fullness so i added about two inches aside the seam allowances please the extra addition is for more fullness okay and then um the last layer of course is just seam allowance and make sure you cut around the selvage okay there's no roll them at the end of the sleeve there okay so we'll start working now the first part here i'll go ahead and create a roll them at the top part and then that'll be the casing for our elastic the roll them shouldn't be less than half an inch okay so this is my casing here here this is it here so uh i'm gonna cut on an elastic the elastic shouldn't be less than six inch depending on your body size but six inches is fine you can do seven this is six so i'll just cut it out and um, pass it with my safety pin okay so with my um safety pin i'm going to pass the elastic through the casing okay so you start from one end of the casing like so and then you pass it gently so once so once you get to one end of the elastic you have to stitch it down here okay then when you finish passing it um i'll treat the other end you stitch the other side down okay so you're gonna have something like this it's very simple here here next is to get the second part so this is the second part of the sleeve here then the lower part of the first part of the sleeve you want to do um like a pleat to fit into the second part okay so and then that's it very simple then so i have this first and second um layers ready for the third one you're going to run a gather stitch at the top and the lower parts you're going to run the gather stitch okay so after doing the gather stitch you're going to um, make the length of the gather to be the same thing with the length of the second layer and then you attach it yeah so here this is it here so i'll attach this to the third layer and then after sewing this is what you're going to be having one two three and the last layer of course you're going to attach this to the third layer and that's all it's a very easy tutorial okay then the um for the same you can use your bias to dip it around or you can do um weaving and then you sew the side seam okay so this is the sleeve here side seam allowance is one inch now you're going to pull the sleeve out to the right side and um you attach it to the dress okay so this is how it's going to look like so i'll show us so um this is how it looks like on the dress form it's a very lovely um, sleeve so if this tutorial was helpful kindly leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you